Truth be told, if it wasn't for Dean Henderson's injury issues and Man United's gross incompetence while negotiating, it's highly unlikely that Vlako Dimas is a name most Forest supporters would have ever heard of. But believe me when I say this, this guy's not here to play second fiddle. Although I expect him to start off as cover for Matt Turner, who's had a promising start to life at the city ground, I'm of the opinion that Vlako Dimas will become a mainstay in the 11 in due course. He's put pen to paper on a four-year contract and arrives for just seven and a half million quid, which is fuck all really when you see some of the prices that were being branded about in the window. Now, in terms of Vlako Dimas' career trajectory, it's been quite the ride. He was born in Stuttgart and came through his boyhood's club's academy only to leave for Panathinaikos after a handful of appearances. It was there that he caught the eye of big guns around Europe and was duly snapped up by Benfica, where he's performed commendably for the last five years. Curiously, he represented Germany's youth sides at every possible age group, but ultimately opted to switch over to Greece when they came calling for his services. At Benfica, he made over 200 appearances, and to reach that milestone is no mean feed for a club of their stature, particularly when they're coming off the back of a campaign where they won the league and captured the imagination of the footballing world in Europe. Despite his vast experience, Vlokodimos is still only 29, which is reasonably young for a goalkeeper, and there's no reason he can't keep going for another decade given how fit he keeps himself. Stylistically, he's a tall, strong and commanding presence in goal with his 6 foot 3 frame. His fantastic shot stopping ability is matched by his positioning, and my favourite part about his game is that he's not afraid to venture out of his box and claim lofted crosses. Like most modern day goalkeepers, he's fantastic at recycling possession, and when you couple that with the vast experience he has, you can see why Forrest did everything they could to get him in on deadline day. For all the positives however, it should be noted that Vlako Dimos does have a tendency to get on the bad side of referees, which is precisely why he's received 28 yellows and 2 red cards during his time in Portugal alone, although I'm sure Forrest supporters, much like myself, are all for having a shithouse extraordinaire on the pitch. Overall, a bloke who featured 54 times for Benfica is unlikely to be happy to sit on the bench for too long, so it'll be interesting to see how Steve Cooper manages the goalkeeper union moving forward. Before I end, a big thank you to Jack Rabbit and Alistair Brown for their contributions. You're helping this channel in more ways than you can imagine, fellas. I'll try and get the Divock Origi video out by tomorrow, but if not, most certainly on Wednesday. Cheers and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.